We're still in Oak Bluff, the same place we went to sleep last night. Nice. Good morning, everybody. Plans have changed a little bit today. From here, I was gonna head straight up to Gillum, about 11, 12 hours north of here. Oh, it should be less than that. Between 10 and 12 hours north of here in Manitoba, way up there. We were gonna go up there empty, pick up a load, and drag it back here. However, the load gods, as awesome as they are, have found us something to take up there. So we don't have to go up empty. We can quickly go pick something up bring it up there, drop it off, and then pick up my freight and bring it down here. That way I don't have to go all the way up there with nothing on the trailer, a bunch of sailboat fuel and motorcycle doors, right? This is good. I, I got to go to the other side of the city, though, quickly throw it on the trailer, and then we'll be on our way. So let's go pick it up. I am ready to rock. It's going to be a good day. We have that RGN trailer behind us that we picked up yesterday, right? You guys watch yesterday's video? It's going to be fun. Oh, hey, Mr. Clayson, you can't park I gotta go. Thank you. There you go. Okay, I'm just gonna turn all the lights on. Roll forward a meter or so. Get those trailer brakes, make sure that my trailer's attached and that it's gonna come with me. There we go. guys came in backwards bud that's okay I'll wait Should have gone, I'm too nice. Oh, there's way more cars than I thought there was. I should have definitely gone.
everybody. So we have that extra freight on our trailer now that's taking us north. This is awesome. Now I have a load going north and a load coming back south. It's hard to get a rounder all the time because Gillum is so remote and isolated at the end of the road. Very often you just got freight going up and you come back empty or you go up empty, you come back loaded. This time, load going both ways. I'm just gonna mark here that I'm taking a, doing a load check. Put myself on duty, not driving. Load check. Okay, I'm gonna go check the load, tighten the straps a little bit. We're on a little pullout. We don't need the truck idling. Save some fuel. Stuff's expensive nowadays. You guys ever see what you've looked like? What, what you look like on my head? You wanna see? <laughs> there you are. Don't I look ridiculous? <laughs> That's why people are staring at me funny all the time. But I do it for you. And I do it for the likes. So hit that like button. Okay, guys. So, like I said, a little pull out here. This is actually a, a little scale that's closed right now. This is my load. I got uh, cement thingers. Got this culvert in here. Got it wrapped in here. I'm going to just walk around here and check all my straps, make sure they're tight. See, this one could go another notch. It's settled a little bit. This guy here, I have a pallet of cement in here. Excuse me, a little noisy. There's a pallet of cement in here that uh, is powdered and it cannot get wet. It's wrapped in shrink wrap under there and then tied down. And then we put one of my tarps over it wrapped it with a strap to keep the tarp in and then put another guy on top of here just to keep it from flapping around what is this here i don't oh boy i don't want that on my trailer where's that coming from oh boy let's climb up on here a little bit i don't want that flying out into traffic where'd that come from get that out of here is that where it came from where'd it come, where'd it come from Oh well. Okay, well, anyway. And there's this guy back here. I saw these straps were flapping a little bit, even though I have them twisted. So, oh shoot. My corner sort of came off of there, didn't it? I'm gonna push that back in there if I can. Whatever, as long as the strap is protected, that's fine. So I gotta tighten that up. And this up a little bit here. I've got my tarps, my other two that I didn't use in here. So climb up on here. So this RGN trailer is, uh, it's designed for hauling big machinery, right? But you can also use it for hauling stuff like this. It's a unique trailer. Now you hear me talking about rub rails all the time, right? This trailer does not have rub rails. It's one of those non-rub rail trailers it's an rgn these are for chains we'll be using them once we pick up our big uh big piece of machinery i've got a crate filled with some stuff in here we're gonna tighten those straps up this is what it looks like on this side so we are north of grand rapids about one hour from where highway six turns right towards thompson if you're familiar with this road this is the one road that heads up into northern Manitoba. It is paved all the way up to where uh, we meet the 280, just a little past Thompson. I'm going to stay in Thompson tonight because I don't want to go down Highway 280 at night. I want to be able to see the potholes before they swallow me and, and try to avoid that and try to live. I don't know how bad the road's gonna be, but from everything I've heard from everyone who's gone down there recently, nothing has changed and it's gonna be pretty brutal. It's a long remote road, all gravel. So at 250 kilometers, that'd be two and a half hours of just highway driving. If it was paved. It's about 150 miles gravel road. So the other day, last week, we were talking about 15 miles of gravel road. You remember that? I was like, oh no, 15 miles. This is 10 times further. 150 miles of gravel road we're gonna do tomorrow. One way and back out. That's 300 miles altogether. Normally that would be half a day of driving. So 
we're gonna get there as early as we can, unload this stuff, get reloaded and try to get back to Thompson and as far south as we can. And hopefully Old Blue will hold up. It's just a tough truck, so should be fine. I'm not excited about going down the gravel road with the truck, but I've said it before. Money talks. Put enough dollar signs at the end of that gravel road, that's where you'll find me. I'm trying to get my family into a better house. We're gonna have to replace our vehicles in the next five to 10 years. And yet one day I wanna save up and maybe even have some property by the lake. Whether it just be some land where we can put a camper on or an actual cabin. No, that's our goals. I don't have many other goals in life other than that. Other than my obvious goals of uh, building my businesses and growing my little empire in whatever ways I can. Starting new businesses, helping them to grow, finding new ways of making money, new ways of surviving. And hopefully the future's bright. That's all we can do, right? We just hope. Hope for a good future. But yeah, if there's enough dollar signs down at the end of the gravel road, that's where I'll be. Real quiet out here. So it's kind of nice to do something a little different with the RGN. Would you call it a low boy trailer? Is that what those are called? We call it the RGN, removable gooseneck. So tomorrow is when we'll uh, just bring all the stuff to where it's supposed to be. And then uh, when I go to load the big piece of equipment, that gooseneck, like I explained yesterday, detaches. Like the trailer lays right on the ground. That detaches, stays on my truck as we drive away. And we drive the piece of equipment right onto the trailer, right up the front. Garbage everywhere here. Just disgusting. Look at this all around here. 
That's too bad, you know? There are no options here. There are no garbage cans anywhere around here. I mean, <laughs> I honestly don't know if that would make a difference or not, but... What do you do, right? Even if there are garbage cans, the truck stops all look like this. It's, it's sad. I wish it was different. We can do better. Made it to Thompson. <sighs> Found a parking spot here. Let's just get out here and do the walk around, make sure that we're gonna be good. We were here last winter and this whole place was just packed then. I think it gets a lot busier here in winter because of the winter roads. But I'm not sure. That would make sense to me because there's a lot of communities north of here that can only have road access during the winter months with the winter roads and the ice roads. So in winter time, there's a lot of trucks, a lot of trucks going up and down here, including us. We do the ice roads and winter roads too. I haven't done them myself yet. I've dabbled a little bit. I've done one here and one there, a little bit here, a little bit there. Not the real ones though, not the real winter roads. I've just crossed a river a couple of times and you know, haven't gone too far. I don't really want to take Old Blue up on those roads because they can get really rough. It's not like the show, Ice Road Truckers. It's, uh, it's a lot more isolated and secluded. We don't have film crews following us around with paramedics on site right away, right? We're out there all alone with no cell signals. It's one day I want to do it yet, but we'll see. Someone else coming in here to join us. If he does park beside me, I hope he's quiet. He's coming around the back there. I bet you anything he's gonna come park right beside me. Oh. Close. Nope, nope, he's gonna go in there. He's not sure where he's going either. He's flying though. Ah, not too fast, I guess. Just faster than me. Okay, he's getting back in right over here. These are all parking spots here. So, this is where we're gonna spend the night. See, he was gonna come right in here between us, but there's this cement block. A cement block here for some reason. I don't know why. But I guess we're not supposed to park right here. <laughs> so everybody, that's it. That's all for the day. Thanks for hanging out with me. Really appreciate it. Give me some light there. There we go. Oh, now you can see me. You can come a little closer if you want. Oh, there you go. See, we're all friends here. Thanks for hanging out. Don't forget to hit the like button if you do like my videos. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss the next one. Make videos most days. I like to say every day, but uh, you know, life gets very busy at home when you have a baby and a whole bunch of other things to take care of as well. So, doing my best here, but most days we have new videos coming out. So, stick around. We have a lot to catch up on. If you're new here, check out my playlists. We're on video, what, 2,800 and... 50 somewhere around there in this series and there's more on this channel from before that yet so check it out and i'll see you back here tomorrow don't forget to turn on your notifications so you don't miss it